Hello, my lovely people. A very, very warm welcome to all of you. This is your Anubha ma'am, your AG ma'am in front of you. And we are back with one more amazing, amazing series. And the name of the series is VIP series. So students, what basically the series is, VIP stands for most important questions. Say like, ma'am, how come? Very important questions, all right? So we'll start with the very first chapter of chemistry as ma'am is chemistry master teacher. And you know, the chapter number one is chemical reactions and equations. Ma'am here will take each and every questions which is very much important in this chapter and definitely will help you in boards. So please stay till the end. Do not miss even a single question because this is very much important for your progress for a definitely like more of a score booster for all of you. You can finish your uh, topic following Uman 2.0 series and after that you can come and see these videos for practice. All right, everyone, Umang 2.0 series is the series that I've taken on 9th and 10th Hindi channel where I taught each and every topic of each and every chapter of chemistry. Syllabus is done. So I think this was required. So that's why I took it. Very important questions with Anubha ma'am. This is session number two where I'll discuss the different, different types of chemical reactions and obviously they're important questions. And uh, I am going to take three sessions for the same. So do not miss it. Put a reminder. Do follow Vedantu's schedule each and every day so that you'll be like ahead with the other students and your classmates because you follow Vedantu. So do not forget to like the efforts of Anubha ma'am. Share this video with your friends so that they can also practice and can do good definitely because you care about your friends. And subscribe to this channel for sure yes everyone i'll start with the question number one and that is some crystals of copper sulfate were dissolved in water the color of the solution obtained would be so i'm going to attach all the answers as well so when you'll download the file you won't be having any issue that ma'am can i get an elaborative answer you will get for sure all right so if i talk about copper sulfate i think you know it pretty sure that copper sulfate crystal due to water molecule like water of crystallization is having a blue color so whenever you dissolve it in water the color of the solution obtained would be do let me know in the comment section do let me know in the chat section so that i'll see that how much interaction we are going to have with each other more and more interaction more and more clearance of the topic will be there and you will get each and every topic straight here and will be stored in your memory so answer is definitely without even seeing the option you know that Blue, blue is the favorite color of how many person do let me know. <laughs> okay, everyone. So let's move to next question. See, answer is attached here. The next question is, and I'm going to take 10 most important questions. Okay, so three sessions, 10, 10, 10, probably can vary a bit as well. But then after that, you don't have to do anything. If you want me to tell you the strategy, follow Monk series, Monk 2.0 follow sprint tech series and then follow most important question series very important question series and you're done you're sorted isn't it awesome you don't have to do anything and you'll be able to see at least at least 20 percent uh, boost in your score so uh, stay tuned and this is the best time to take crash courses at vedantu platform as well link in the description box do not forget to apply the code age pro all right the next question is when dilute hcl is added to zinc pieces taken in a test tube what will you observe you know that now the pattern has uh, has been changed and there are so many questions that are going to come for one mark and i'm uh, thinking that at least five questions will definitely come from the chemistry portion including assertion reasoning multiple choice question and four question maybe multiple choice maybe from each and every chapter and can have a variation too and one marker one liner question as well so these are very much important all right everyone when you take zinc and put hcl dilute hcl into the same exactly what will happen first if your concept is clear you do not even need to see the options and you can approach it pretty well so zinc being a metal and when you have acid into it that's also a kind of displacement reaction where zinc being more reactive than hydrogen in the reactivity series can displace it and can give metal salt and 
two a hydrogen will become a loner here so you will take two molecule of the same you will get zinc chloride aqueous solution apart from that hydrogen gas also now see the correct options which will match to your answer no change takes place not true a color of the solution become a yellow not true a pungent smelling gas gets liberated that's hydrogen sulfide maybe sulfur uh, dioxide sulfur trioxide they have a burning sulfur smell like when you uh, pass through any kind of a sewage okay but see the d option small bubbles of hydrogen gas appears on the surface of zinc piece as soon as you put the zinc piece it will react with the acid will give you zinc chloride and from the surface hydrogen gas is releasing and sticking to the surface as well and your zinc metal can float in that solution as well all right so definitely now you know the answer give me a high five yeah revision is going absolutely fantastic yes <laughs> all right let's have next question everyone because that must be a revision not like we'll spend so much of time and you're like yeah ma'am it's it's supposed to be a revision let's revise we know the topic i'm hoping so <laughs> okay uh, lead sulfide react with ozone and form lead sulfate good question as per the balance equation molecule of ozone required for every one molecule of lead sulfide so this is kind of a reaction where we'll discuss a type of reaction as well we'll do the balancing also we have all the options attached so we have lead sulfide with ozone and whenever they react uh, do remember that the product will be sulfur here it's like oxidation of this product it will take oxygen and oxygen will come here and the remaining oxygen will give o2 gas okay so it's like my lead sulfide will show oxidation that's a redox reaction where reduction and oxidation takes place o3 to o2 kind of loss of oxygen so reduction where oxidation reduction takes place simultaneously that's a redox reaction all right everyone and i gave that trick so many times to my students as well whenever you see the same kind of a substance on both the side but their number is one side even one side odd then multiply these two number with each other that will help you while balancing and you can use that number so it's like if you multiply 3 by 2 it will be 6 if you multiply 2 by 3 it will be 6 and it will be balanced so you can use that sometime so if i multiply this by 2 will that help uh no because if you do that what we will see we have six oxygen and here it will be balanced but we need it for oxygen too but if i say this thing that four oxygen is needed and if i take four molecule of o3 can i write it in this way as well i'll get four o2 it will decompose to give four o2 and four atomic oxygen yes i can say that because ozone will decompose to give oxygen gas and a free atomic oxygen so when i'll take that if i take four molecule it will give four uh, molecule of oxygen and four nascent four newly born oxygen that was needed uh, in the case of lead sulfide so if i take four molecule please see that uh, this part is dandanadan ute and four molecule of oxygen is left so this will be four as well now it became uh, much more sense because when oxygen is there at more than one places then that rule which i told you is in a bit of danger and you have to count that too but i think it's pretty much clear now please do remember that tip ozone decomposed to o2n oxygen atomic oxygen that was needed redox reaction i balanced it as well so amount of ozone needed is four molecule right so let's see whether i gave the right answer to you <laughs> yeah that's definitely right you can trust anubhavam <laughs> all right let's move ahead with the next question reaction represent hydrogen plus chlorine which is giving hcl what type of a reaction is this oh that's good what do you think students super easy easy peasy when two or more substances will react with each other to give a single product that's definitely a combination reaction two or more things combined with each other combination a single product so that's definitely a combination reaction you do not even need to think twice and please as i said ma'am is explaining every question but what i want from all of you to give me answer in the comment section to give me answer in the chat section before me 
so that it will help you more and more in your revision time so from the next question i'll give this timer also one two three so that will help <laughs> okay the reaction between lead nitrate and potassium iodide present in aqueous solution is an example of so give me answer i'm waiting i'm not explaining you have taken lead nitrate aqueous solution please follow valency because otherwise you will end up balancing in a wrong way okay and then potassium iodide aqueous solution you are mixing two aqueous solution what will happen let me see your response in three two one dandanadan okay i think not bad not bad you are getting it you are getting it when you take two aqueous solution they are very much prone to exchange their ions and that type of a reaction is called as a dd reaction that means a double displacement two times displacement of ions so what will happen lead it's like positive negative lead is having a plus 2 valency every nitrate minus 1 so two nitrate minus 2 total positive and total negative charge in a compound must be equal that's how a compound is neutral and stable yeah so lead will go with iodine that must contain the same charge minus 2 so i have to take two molecule of ki so lead will take two iodine to give lead iodide apart from that 2k with 2 no3 exchange of ions two molecule of kno3 okay two molecule of kno3 so let iodide here is my yellow color precipitate also my precipitation reaction is a type of dd reaction and one is neutralization reaction these two types are there so what will be the answer dd reaction pretty much clear okay hope so so students uh picture is not going to end here there are so much as i told you 10 question we need to discuss just a small information to everyone that if you also want to gain 100% knowledge and want to join us it's very easy because in vedantu platform every live session will be having quizzes moderate and high level unlimited live classes you will be able to attend we will see active learning in students not like a teacher is teaching and you just hmm 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 we'll see your response in the leaderboard we'll see your response in every time like a quiz time whether you get it you will get a q and a panel where you can ask question and answer panel where you can ask your relevant doubt with the teachers and a team of class teachers obviously uh, subject expert only all right and you can compete with the students throughout the world like a healthy competition and it's super fun and you'll learn amazing things there will be interactive replay if somehow you miss any session also you like you're seeing the replay it's like has live as like a live session not like an uh, replay one that interactive sessions we have and you will be able to download the content of each and every sessions with the inputs of all the master teachers given over there right so you will be having notes you will be able to attend unlimited live classes doubt solving with the help of master teachers class teachers unlimited micro courses micro courses are chapter based courses if you still having problem in certain chapter like what to do you can take uh, any micro courses that you want in that big big list and this is the best time because crash courses some are already started some are about to start so that you will be able to revise each and everything and can see your score getting boosted by a ram say like very easily 20% So Vedantu's new motto: less is more, less or less surprise, and more and more classes. Because there is a link in the description box. If you will apply over there, the code AGE Pro by selecting your grade, by selecting your target CBSE 2021, selecting your grade CBSE ninth class. Ah, uh, sorry, CBSE tenth class. What you can do for one month course two six nine nine, but it will just be for two one five nine. For three months, for two three 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 per month, but it will go below two one five nine. You can divide that by three. It will be like hardly nineteen hundred and something. Okay, so it's not a bad deal at all. Not a bad deal because per class price for one month session per session eleven rupees. Three months nine rupees, as low as you know a packet of whatever munchies that you like. So choose your course wisely because that's a good decision to have. do not forget to apply age pro code because that's the code that will give you this much discount all right so let me see you guys in the session do let me know in any case i can guide you 
Question number six, identify the type of chemical reaction. Very, very easy, very, very easy. A is giving B plus C. We have a single substance that's giving two substance means uh, A is basically breaking down. So that's a decomposition reaction. There's no condition given. Otherwise, I can define decomposition into three type as well. Thermal decomposition, decomposition in the presence of heat. Uh, electrolytic decomposition, also called as electrolysis. Uh, passing electricity from the molten form of the given substance so that that will decompose apart from that. Photolytic decomposition, the decomposition in presence of light. Yeah, everyone. So without ma'am telling you the answer, tell me what about the B option? What about the B option? Super easy. No? A is going with D. Yeah, start giving your responses. C is going with B. A, D, C, B. Exchange your files. Never write B, C here. Only C, B. Because we start a compound with the positive ion and end it with the negative ion. And in every compound, the first one is positive, second is negative. So exchange your ion in such a way, positive will go with the another negative. It's positive will go with the another negative. That's a DD reaction, double displacement reaction. Pretty much clear, very easy as well. Next question is, what happens chemically when quick lime is added to water? What's your quick lime, everyone? I think you know that your calcium oxide is quick lime, basically used in the previous time, uh, previous time as in, they used it for whitewashing because whenever you put it in water, what they'll give you, HOH, tell me. What happens chemically when uh, quick lime is added to water? What exactly is going to form? This is revision and I want you to respond as much as you can so that revision will be up to the power. What's the substance that's going to form? Lime water, aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide lime water that is used for whitewashing. Yes, everyone. So I think you got it. Yes. And you know that this lake lime, this lime water, whenever we apply it, First of all, exothermic reaction. Most of the combination reactions are exothermic in nature. All right. And then when you apply it after two, three days, they shows you shine because they absorb CO2 from the atmosphere and form calcium carbonate. And that is that having a milky white appearance. So shine will come later on. I think we'll do certain kind of a question. Let's see that. A substance X used for coating iron articles is added to a blue solution of a reddish brown metal. X is a substance that we used for coating iron article to prevent it from corrosion. And you know that? Do you know that? Let's see that. And we have a blue color solution of Y. Maybe Y sulfate I just dropped because Y is a metal that gives a blue color solution. And I think I have told you in tips and tricks classes, copper sulfate, copper solutions are generally blue color. And giving the hint also because why is that metal that is reddish brown in color? So it's giving the entire confirmation that's copper. All right. So what will be X? The color of the solution get discharged. Identify X and Y. If you remember, uh, zinc is one of the metal that whenever apply on the iron, it's protecting it from corrosion because we are doing galvanization. Zinc more reactive is now going to react with the atmosphere and make a protective layer of zinc oxide. So that will be zinc with the copper sulfate, which is a blue color. Color is discharging, color is getting pale and pale and finally, uh, you know, uh, no color at all because zinc will do that because zinc, ma'am told in that session tips and tricks that zinc salts are generally colorless in nature. Displays being more reactive, color is getting fade and fade and basically colorless. So that's the perfect suit for this kind of a question and you know the answer properly now. I hope you got it each and every bit that I told you. Yes. And the entire solution is there in front of you too. So no fear when your other Mav is here, at least in chemistry. And I know other subjects, teachers are also doing a commendable job here. Next question here is a solution of a substance X used for whitewashing. We did that. Name the substance X and write its formula. So the substance that we use for whitewashing is calcium oxide. Okay calcium oxide and uh, write the reaction of substance name in one above with the water. So when you put it with water, what will happen as we discussed, we get slaked lime, we get calcium hydroxide aqua solution. 
Yes, everyone. So this kind of a question is pretty important and you should know that. What do you mean by precipitation reaction? Explain by giving examples. Give me, I'm waiting for your response. What is precipitation? I somehow took that thing already. Precipitation. Getting one of the product as precipitate. What is precipitate? Uh, an insoluble solid product that is going to settle down in the test tube where you performed your reaction. Yeah. So that's nothing but a type of DD reaction. I think you are done with your answer. So if I give an example, though I have already taken one, but let me take a fresh one for more and more clarity. If you take silver nitrate aqueous solution and put it into sodium chloride aqueous solution, silver nitrate aqueous solution and sodium chloride aqueous solution, double displacement, exchange of ions, when they will be acid and base, they can also exchange their ions, but then we'll get salt and water and salt is something that's soluble in water in general. So I'm not taking acid and base here. That's the second type of DD reaction where we'll get a precipitate. I took two, uh, you know, I took two salt here, silver nitrate, sodium chloride, and there will be exchange of ions, silver with chlorine, sodium with nitrate. And what are we going to get? Sodium, uh, silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Silver chloride is a solid, a precipitate, white color precipitate is something that we are going to get along with sodium nitrate aqua solution. So this is an example of your uh, precipitation reaction, DD reaction. You can tell me some more example apart from what I have discussed in the comment section. We'll wait for it because more and more response you will give me more and more clarity you are having, more and more concepts are going to your mind and more and more practice you are doing, okay? A student dropped few pieces of marble in dilute HCl. You know what is marble? Nothing but calcium carbonate. And somehow a student put it into dilute HCl, okay? And uh, the gas, uh, there is going to be a release of a gas that was passed through lime water and what change you are going to observe with the lime water. Very easy. When metal carbonate react with acid, what will be the product that you're going to get? Metal salt, water and CO2 gas. Do remember, metal compounds are generally basic, base with acid, salt and water. But when metal compound is carbonate or whatever, sulfi uh, sulfite, sulfate, then these substances are giving some of the gases as well side by side. So this will be like taking two molecules of HCl because for balancing, calcium with chlorine, calcium chloride two hydrogen taking one oxygen h2o and we are left with co2 gas right we are left with co2 gas that's the reaction a balanced reaction as well now they're telling if we are going to pass the co2 gas from lime water which is nothing but calcium hydroxide didn't i tell you we are going to discuss this question when we we'll pass it what are we going to get calcium carbonate you can do that i am writing oh oh so it's like calcium, CO2, take one oxygen from here. CaCO3, what are we left with? One hydrogen, one OH, one H and one OH is your water. So we got a milky precipitate of calcium carbonate, milky appearance as well. That's what we are going to do. And the reaction is balanced as well because that's what I'm trying to make you understand. Yeah, everyone, super sorted. Yes or no, do let me know. All right, so a dark solution is here. So you can download the file as I told you, PDF will be available. I think uh, just give us at least 12 hours. Whenever the session is ended, I'll send the file with all the my handwritten notes. And then after that, they'll up, uh, upload it, you know, takes time, but yeah, possible. Next is give one example each of thermal decomposition, electrolytic decomposition, photo decomposition, thermal means we are heating and then the substance is decomposing. Give me one example right now. Yeah. And then electrolytic decomposition, heating in presence of electricity. Photolytic decomposition, heating in presence of, uh, breaking down in presence of light. Yeah. So thermal means, I'm taking just one example. You can take so many. Calcium carbonate, whenever is heated, will give calcium oxide and co2 decomposition due to heat give me an example which is other than the one that i discussed 
one I'm telling, which is very much important for exam point of view. You're heating lead nitrate, what it will give you, lead oxide and this part, metal will give metal oxide when you heat it in air and this part will give you some of the gases. NO2, reddish brown gas, oxygen, a gas that uh, when a burning splinter will come near it, it will uh, make the flame a bit, showing a bit more glow because oxygen helps in combustion. Right? Let's discuss electrolytic decomposition means uh, decomposition due to electricity. One which is very famous which you already know is taking acidified water and then uh, passing electricity from the same and what will happen you will get hydrogen oxygen. Why we take acidified water the reason is water is not going to decompose into ions and to pass electricity we will be needing free ions. So putting some drop of acid is facilitating uh, the reaction and uh, convert them into ions. Apart from that, if you remember, your highly metal, highly reactive metal ores generally take electricity and can decompose to give the required metal. So it's like when you have a metal ore like sodium chloride rock salt taken the molten form of the same and pass electricity, we are going to get our required metal. We are going to get our required metal. So it's like extraction of metal from its ore. Electrolytic uh, decomposition is helping for the same. And electrolysis always give us almost pure substance, 99.8% purity. Isn't it like a good thing? That's what we wanted. Photo decomposition means breaking down in presence of light. And my silver compounds are very much light sensitive. So when I have silver compounds, silver halides, silver with halogen. Silver chloride, you take it and you put it in sunlight. H new light always comes from the uh, packet of energy that's called as photon, and every photon photon is having an energy H new. All right, so this is breaking it, and you are left with only silver in the same watch glass that you have taken, and chlorine gas is going to be disappeared, a whitish greenish color gas. Shoo, gaib, <laughs> disappeared. Yeah. So you get your silver and chlorine is disappeared means a white color silver chloride is basically giving you a grayish metal that silver that's left. So as I tell, give some more example for the same, whichever I have discussed, no, but apart from that. Because when I see more and more comments, I'll get to know that you're very much serious for this revision too. And my efforts are not going to get wasted. Here's everyone. One more question, when you mix solution of lead nitrate and potassium iodide, what's the color of the precipitate? If I take lead nitrate, I think we discussed that too. Lead nitrate and potassium iodide, I'm taking the balance equation because we had already discussed that. Two aqueous solution, lead with iodine, lead iodide solid and apart from that K with NO3, 2KNO3. Aqua solution, lead iodide, yellow color precipitate, done. The color of the precipitate formed, yellow. Name of the compound, lead iodide, balanced chemical reaction, done. Is this a double displacement reaction? Yes, for sure, because precipitation is a double displacement reaction. Getting one of the product is uh, solid as exchange of ions takes place. Here's everyone, I hope you got it like very, very clear. So this is something we wanted to know. But do not forget session 1 is already done. You need to see it. Session 3 is about to come and you need to see that as well. And to gain so much of knowledge, this is just a small picture. You can attend Vedanta classes where all the classes with live quizzes will be there throughout the world competition. Interactive replay so that if you miss even a session, you will be able to revise it just like a live session. Premium downloadable content with the feedback of your master teachers and apart from that quality test you will be taking and uh, master teachers and a set of class teachers will solve your doubts instantly in the session too. 5000 plus micro courses, chapter based courses, whatever you need to study will be there with the free crash courses. This is the best time because some of the crash courses we have just started, some are about to start. So I think you do not need to miss any of the time. 
three months course will be the best one just ma'am suggestion so that december january feb you will be able to have the entire revision of your syllabus and can see a guaranteed score booster so less as more you can go for one month also just to see just to uh, clear the doubts of some particular chapter link in the description box pinned by vedantu for pro class select your grade cbse 2021 select your target cbse 10th do not forget to apply age pro because 2699 will become 2159 only when you apply the code and three months course if you multiply it by three it will be like whatever it is you will get 31 percent discount or uh, before it was 40 14 percent now it's 31 percent and every class will be around 1900 and something 1933 so be clear with that because it's like having one session for 11 to 9 rupees as low as this is so i'll see that we'll see you in the session do not forget to follow anubha ma'am on instagram vedantu handle is there chemistry.vedantu underscore anubha gaur and uh, this is it for today's students i hope you had enjoyed it a lot because i love coming to uh, this place and teaching you guys and sharing all my possible knowledge in the same way ma'am will come every time will share her inputs until then take care wait for the next session happy learning thank you so much do not forget to like definitely share and subscribe to the channel which was a must thank you